Snell. Not exactly the matchups Here we, go. we were expecting to see. And with all the injuries, some guys are stepping into some unfamiliar roles. But in some ways, that makes tonight all the more intriguing. Now Golden State's starting five. Sharing the wing spots, it's Thompson and Wiggins. Kaminga out there with Draymond Green, and it's Poole in at the point guard position. Now Green after the miss three from Corey Kispert. Thompson misses. Now here's Kispert, covered by Wiggins. Kispert, the pass to Sadoransky. This is it to Persingas. Kicks to Caldwell Pope. The Wizards need to get a shot off here. Porzingis can't hit. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Their last encounter was in San Francisco. And really brought an impressive physicality to that matchup. Drawing a ton of fouls and, of course, went on to win it. No doubt that's what made the difference. The aggression they showed. Attacking, drawing contact. It got them points at the line and made foul trouble a big concern on the other side. And the shot goes in from Chris Stapps for Zingas. Chris Stapps on the inside that time doing some damage. And here is Green. A really disappointing game for him in that loss to Atlanta. Clock at four. Golden State needs to get off a shot. He gets that one. That's a great pass from Draymond Green. Just understands where his guys are going to be. Here's Sadoransky. Caldwell Pope outside. Back to Sadoransky. Caldwell Pope on the way to the middle. Here's Persingas. The shot comes out, and Golden State will come the other way. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, the Wizards head coach gave me a few minutes. He pointed to Clay Thompson as one of the game's great streak shooters. Coach said, Clay can bury you with a couple of quick runs. We have to counter that with streaks of our own. Sounds like there could be some fireworks here tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Porzing is showing some toughness that time, just cutting through contact. Wiggins surveying the floor. Now, here's Poole. Sadoransky covering. And a miss there on the triple. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for Washington. And the dunk by Porzingis. And I think Porzingis is realizing as he gets on in years in the NBA, his size and getting to the offensive rebound is going to help him score. Now, here's Wiggins. Pass to Poole. From the arc, that falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the Hawks. Porzingis kicks to Sederansky. Dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Back to Sederansky. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hachimura. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. That's one he knows he should have drained. A three-pointer. Wiggins rebounded by the Wizards. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Sadoransky, the pass to Persingas. Raymond Green grabs the miss. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Well, Draymond Green holding everybody accountable. We've seen this before. Wizards trail by three. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And there's the pass to Kispert. Good on the triple. And so often, Draymond Green is called the heart of this team. Yeah, he's been such a great leader since his time at Michigan State. He's out there barking directions to his offensive players. He's out there barking defensive assignments. He's barking at his coach. It just The list goes on, but that energy is infectious and helps lead his team to greater heights. 
And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Now here's Thompson with 37 points last game out. And Brent, you look at the career of Clay Thompson, he's had improvements every step of the way. Yeah, and he's still just an elite shooter that because of what Steph does, because of Draymond's unselfishness, Clay is going to add 25 points in the blink of an eye. Uh, that, along with his defense, just make that backcourt something special. That free throw good from Thompson. And for those teams that suffered a harsh ending to last season, Greg, what are they feeling here on opening night? I mean, motivated. You, you think about that kind of thing all summer, and the chance for retribution starts now. And so Thompson nails both of them. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Outside, Brzingis. Over Green, good on the 13-footer. Persingas has got eight points. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Thompson outside. Into the lane. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. That's the counter move right there from Clay. He uses the bounce, doing more than just standstill jump shoot. Here's Zadaransky. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Caldwell Pope. Persingas sets the pick for Kispert. Misses with the tough leaning jump shot. Green left side. Thompson outside. Shot clock at five. Oh, well, Pope with some nice D. Washington's gone. Just one of four from three point range here in the first. Porzingis kicks to Sederansky. Pass to Hachimura. Back to Sederansky. I missed that time. Would have put him up. All the time in the world to get that one off. Sadaransky against Green. Wiggins, a screen on Sadaransky. Here's Green. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got his fifth rebound in this one. And it's Kispert in the corner. Stolen by Thompson. Green, the pass to Poole. And the Warriors miss again. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Washington Wizards. Trailing by two. Now the Warriors moving it up. Now Poole, pass to Green. He dishes it to Thompson. A three-pointer. Wiggins, the shot. No good. And it's Washington the other way. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Sadaransky looking around. The pass to Persingas. The shot's good on the assist by Sadaransky. Sadaransky's got his fourth assist in this one. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now and... All they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. Ryan is checked in for Pazingas. Hill comes in for Hachimura. Javier's checked in for Kispers. And it's Ish Smith in for Sadaransky. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Draymond Green. 
Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Kaminga. Please check in for Andrew Wiggins. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Jordan Poole. Smith with it. Now Payton defending. Pass to Gill. On the wing, Bryant. Smith against Porter. Let's the three fly. And Lee pulls it down. The Warriors trailing. Shoots from the baseline. That's good from Porter on the assist by Lee. And you got to honor that mid-range J from Porter. Over time, he has really improved that shot. From the Wizards, they're shooting 40% here in the early stages. Ball's not loose. It's taken away by Peyton. Lee passes to Peyton. On the wing, Porter. Here's Looney. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. He gets it in there. Yeah, Looney opens up the offense here. You're just getting some bonus points from him. And that's helping out when he knocks down the Jays. Here's Smith. No points in the game yet for him. Bryant with a screen on Pete. Poked away. Here's Thompson. And it's Thompson with the jam. Looney with that constant effort on the defensive end. So solid. Wizards trail by five. Smith on the wing, covered by Peyton. Avdia dishes to Smith. Avdia with it. In the game against Detroit, very impressive. Clock is at three. The Wizards with another miss. Warriors leading by five. Thompson with it. Now Smith defending. And Thompson kicks to Peyton. to the basket and it's sent back by Bryant and the shot clock expires 24 second violation and the Wizards with possession Smith the pass to Bryant Smith outside that three off the mark and for the Warriors, they're shooting at around 44% in the early goings here. Lee finds Porter. Peyton, right side. Passes it to Looney. Shot clock at six. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Jordan Poole. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. The second free throw, good. If you have the good fortune of playing next to superstars in this league, there are certain guys who thrive in that environment, and Kevon Looney has been one of them. And it's Smith missing. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Thompson outside. Over Avdia. The shot by Thompson, no good. And he giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. And stolen by Peyton. For the finish, and Peyton throws it down hard. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. It's taken away by Peyton. Here he goes. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Warriors lead by 10. 
when you find yourself up double digits in the first quarter, you know you're doing something right. Well, dominant so far, that's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contributions. So it's the Wizards now. The Warriors making the shot. And that one's good. Gill. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11-0 run by the Warriors. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Peyton looking it over. 12 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Lock at six. Pass to Thompson. Over Caldwell Pope. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist from Peyton. Thompson's got 10. And Thompson, a guy who has size and has strength and has taken shots like that before. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We've got more in store for you right after this. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Warriors. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play, really looking to go up-tempo tonight. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Warriors. We've got Looney. Peyton is out there with Jordan Poole. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Porter at the four-man position. To the wing right side. Now, here's Avdia. He's covered closely. And here is Kispert. Fires the three. And it's Looney with the rebound. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. There's the pass to Looney. Outside, Porter. There's a good screen. With the drive. Goes back up. Porzingis with the block. And shooters must beware. Porzingis is down there lurking. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Kristaps Porzingis is returning to form after his knee surgery. He says making sure it's strong and stable is non-stop work. I'm feeling better, and I have confidence that I can go out there and play freely. His offense has been great. It's the defensive end that he's still getting right. Guys? Well, we know he can be a presence DA, and I think eventually he's going to be what he wants to be. Thank you. Here's Sodoronski after the Warriors pick up three. Hill with a screen on Peyton. Here's Kispert. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. Beautiful timing, execution, great move to the rack. Back to Poole. Golden State moving it around. Peyton drives in. Porzingis with the block. Now here's Kispert. Guarded by Poole. Down low. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Kispert. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Looney kicks to Peyton. Now, here's Poole. Six points for him. And he could not get that one to go. Lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Warriors have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. Two, two. 
first one falls for him. And with the rise of guards like Steph Curry and Trey Young, seems like the little guys are really making their mark in the NBA. Well, they're starting to affect Kevin the way that really management is looking at building out their team. They're trying to find wings that are equipped with defensive ability, but willingness to shoot the three ball, guards that are small enough and quick enough to get you an advantage to spread the floor a little bit. So uh, the three ball and the way team construction has happened has changed the league quite rapidly. And at his size, Porzingis needs to try to do that more often and take advantage of matchup problems. The Wizards shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Well, some people call Porzingis a unicorn and they're not wrong. His terrific stature and his shooting ability, that is a rare combination. And so he makes both from the line. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Green kicks to Poole. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. For Washington, they won their last contest. That game against the Detroit Pistons. Here's Sadoransky. The baseline jumper goes down. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Green kicks to Kaminga. For the three. Rebound, Washington. Sadoransky's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Hachimura. Passes it to Kispert. Six on the shot clock. And the wide open shot from Apia. From outside, off the mark. Warriors leading by four. Wiggins passes to Poole. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Peyton kicks to Kaminga. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got his third assist on the night. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. Now here's Kispert. He has seven. Back to Sadoransky. Pass to Avdia. Porzingis sets the pick for Avdia. And here's Porzingis. Covered by Wiggins. The pass to Sadoransky. Now here is Hetchimura. Now Kispert. Over Peyton. And that one goes long. Here's Kaminga. Over to the wing. Out to the right wing. A three-pointer off the mark. Wizards trail by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Hachimura, the screen. It's stolen by Green. There's Kaminga. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Hachimura. Porzingis kicks to Sederansk. Five on the clock. Pass to Kispert. Here's Hachimura. And again, Washington, no good. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Passes to Peyton. Green with the screen on Hachimura. Porzingis with the steal. And here we go. Washington fast break. There's the triple. Hachimura, no good. For Washington, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line.
Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunity, get to the line. Pass to Wiggins, over of the up, and Wiggins with the basket on the assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. The pass to Hachimura. Porzingis with the ball. Kaminga picks him up, and he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. More and more as Porzingis is playing these minutes and has these scoring opportunities, he's dealing with the contact much better. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Looking at who's out there now for the Wizards. Caldwell the Pope, who's checked Find in for lane. Kispert. And it's Ace Smith and for Sadoransky. And the Warriors also making a change. Damian Lee, he's checked in for Peyton. That free throw good from Porzingis. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. Here is the 2K leaderboard with last season's top passing team. The Warriors, number one. The way these guys moved the ball offensively was really a, a joy to watch. Great teamwork and unselfishness, and that's why we saw those great assist numbers a season ago. Poole finds Green. Pass to Kaminga. Trains the three-pointer. Kaminga's got eight points. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Oh, oh that was something else. Porzingis right through the defense and a sweet dunk from the big man. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Lee goes in. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with. Wizards trail by seven. Smith with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And here's Avdia. Hachimura setting the pick for Abdiya. Two points. That one goes. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm.
And so Green will bring it up for the Warriors. They've led by as much as 10. Lee outside. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Kaminga, the pass to Green. Over in the corner, Lee. Kaminga sends a screen for Lee. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Trent, we played against some amazing shooters in our time, but nothing quite like Curry. It's hard to imagine somebody being better than that, GA. I mean, you're right. We've seen some in incredible long-range snipers, uh, but easily at this point, for everybody to admit that's watched basketball, that Steph Curry is the best we've seen. And he knocks down the first one. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Ryan, he's checked in for Perzingis. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And both free throws good for Lee. Wizards trail by seven. It's Bryant, high post. Smith outside. Hachimura, the screen. Fires from the line. It's deflected. Kaminga, the pass to Green. The three from Poole. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got three assists in the game. To the right side. Here's Hachimura. And Lee pulls it down. And with him missing literally everything he's put up today, you can see why the score is what it is. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And a year ago, he was an 80% shooter at the line, so that's more than acceptable. Free throw drops for Green. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Smith kicks to Hachimura. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Sinks the three-pointer. Javier's got five points now in the quarter. Yeah, I like in the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. The Washington Wizards, they won their last contest that game against the Pistons in Detroit. Passes it to Thompson. Now, here's Poole. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Smith outside. Nice ball movement by Washington. Bryant finds Smith. Caldwell Pope against Lee. Six to shoot. Caldwell Pope passes to Smith. A three ball. That's his first basket of the game. One for six and looking for more. So it's the Warriors now. Seven point differential. Pass to Kaminga. Pool on the wing. Green passes to Lee. And the Warriors miss again. Washington's gotten goals and deep in the second quarter. Just two of six from long range and looks like the illegal kick was set yep that's right that'll get their attention beyond the leaning you could see his feet more set on that screen easy call gotta hold firm or you're gonna get a call Gill is checked in for Washington then for the Warriors Kavon Looney comes in for Kaminga and Porter subbed in for Jordan Poole Green against Bryant Thompson a screen on Bryant it's up a three. Washington with the rebound. Now the feed to Avdia over Thompson. Avdia can't hit. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the Hawks in Atlanta. Now 
now. Here's Green. Thompson from long range. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Smith, the pass to Bryant. Here's Gill. Over Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And it goes on Draymond Green. He had a defender all over him. For Washington, they have been on target from the free throw line. They're 5-of-5 five five in that department. Shooting two. And he makes the first. He doesn't get the second one. Warriors leading by nine. Thompson outside to the paint. Stolen by Avdia. Smith scanning the floor. There's 117 left in the first half of basketball. Avdia can't hit. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Inside. Here's Porter. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Porter's got his second basket of the night. Well, Clay is going to draw that kind of attention, and that's going to open up opportunity. Gill kicks to Avdia. Smith on the wing, covered by Lee. Bryant with a screen on Porter. Just five on the clock. Outside Bryant. The Wizards with another miss. And for the Warriors, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Thompson for the triple. They shot off that time. Now Washington takes it the other way. Caldwell Pope kicks to Bryant. There's 14 seconds left now here in the second. To the paint. And finished off by Bryant. Terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. Here's Green, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Oh, the, the officials are all over that. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. the first one drops. Amazing to think about Draymond Green and the career arc he's had thus far. He really can guard any position on the floor. He can make plays. Really a unique talent. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. With a 10-point lead, some breathing room heading into the break. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. We'll return shortly. Welcome to halftime, everybody. What a fiery first half for Clay Thompson. This is his game on the offensive end. Putting up shot after shot, hitting at a great clip. The defense needs to wake up and put pressure on him, or he can run them out the gym. And next up on the docket, a look at some upcoming games. Over at Little Caesars Arena, the Pistons will face off against the Knicks. It's going to tip off at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This is where you lean on your team leaders. If the generals don't panic, the troops won't panic. And that's it for the halftime show. Time to send you back to the game. Shaq, stop doing the wave. I can't stop, Kenny. Look at the fans. Hey, 
Come on, Kenny, catch the hey. wave with us. Ooh, that's oh. nice, Shaq. Yeah, Ernie, you got a lot of rhythm, Ernie. Very rhythmic. Yes. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Porzingis having a dominant impact in this game. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. We've got Sadoransky, Hachimura out there with Kispert. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's Brzingis, and at the pivot spot, Manning the middle. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Brzingis. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got five assists in the game. To the inside, here's Kispert, takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery on time, on target. Green dishes to Thompson. Poole on the wing. Buries the long-range jumper. Poole's got 14 points. Nice job by Clay Thompson just taking a step back. Team needed a play. He made it. Now the pass to Kispert. On the three off target. Warriors leading by 13. Higgins outside. There's the screen. And here's Poole for three. Washington shooting for the game at 42%. Here's Hachimura. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Golden State's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And it's Wiggins missing. For Washington, they've gone one of three since starting the second half. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Now Sadoransky. Nice ball movement by Washington. Singus passes to Caldwell Pope. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Hachimura, the screen. Here's Kispert. The Wizards with another miss. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Golden State. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Pass to Thompson. Wiggins, right side. And the Warriors miss again. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. Thompson, a screen on Zadaransky. To the middle. And Thompson slams it home. Man, you don't see Clay get up like that all that often. That was impressive. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Zadaransky with it. Picked up by Thompson. And Zadaransky kicks to Kispert. And the three ball is good. He's got 14. He's trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. And Poole gets it to go. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And that one drops for him. Porzingis has got 22 points. Porzingis not letting anything or anyone get in his way right now offensively. Pass to Poole. Launches a three. Good. And it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got six assists now in the game. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Sadoransky finds Porzingis. Down low. Poole with the steal. On the pass to Wiggins. 
Thompson for three. Score the basket, his eighth. Eight for 13 from the floor. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Here's Zadaransky. Now the dish to Caldwell Pope. Drives to the hoop. Boom, he chains it straight down. And sweet drive there. KCP, a smooth operator with terrific straight line speed. Warriors leading by 16. Now Thompson. He's got 20. Green with a screen for Thompson. Tries the spin move. Six on the shot clock. Let's it go from deep. And Green with the basket on the assist by Kaminga. Kaminga's got his third assist on the night. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's guarded closely. Outside, Brzingis. Driving the lane. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Looney's checked in for Golden State. Here's Sadoransky. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jordan Poole. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Pass to Hachimura. Called well, Pope on the way. Hachimura with a screen on top. Shot clock at five. They get it back. Out to Porzingis. Second shot opportunity the bucket and he's got a free throw coming up as well and there's a pattern starting to take shape here they're working it inside and getting good shots from close range and guys what do you think about the hustle stance for the Warriors I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow the break but that has not been the case a significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've gotten That's good from Kisper. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I think the players today are so much smarter, and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You don't have to teach them the game. But they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. Warriors on D. Passes it to Kispert. Hachimura with it. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Something's growing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Poole, the pass to Wiggins. There's the three. Rebounded by the Wizards. Persingas has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Sadoransky finds Persingas. And a wide-open look for Hachimura. And again, Washington with the triple. Now, there's a feel that Porzingis has to the game, and the more comfortable he is in these kind of settings, he'll rack up some assists. The three from Poole. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Wizards. On Tuesday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. And then on Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. Wizards trail by 12. Porzingis sets the pick for Sadoransky. Inside. And the shot goes in from Chris Depps, Porzingis. Porzingis has got four points this quarter. Well, maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. For the Wizards, 
Ryan needs to check in for Przingis. Hill comes in for Rui Hachimura. And Smith subbed in for Sadoransky. Then for the Warriors, Porter's checked in for Kaminga. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Jordan Poole. Now here's Payton. Pass to Porter from downtown. That's in. Coming off an assist from Payton. Payton's got five assists tonight. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? For Washington, they've gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Bryant with a screen on Peyton. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Wizards making a switch here. Av Diaz checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Lee's checked in. And here's Smith. Here's Avdia. Buries the easy one. Avdia's got his third bucket of the night. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Connects from three-point range. And the Warriors lead by 14. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Peyton against Smith. There's the pass to Gill. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Gill's got six. They are just killing him on the interior. And so Peyton will bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Porter. Golden State moving the ball around. Thompson. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And now it's 27 points for Clay Thompson. Smith, the pass to Bryant. Back to Smith. Bryant with a screen on Peyton. Here's Smith. And Looney sends it back. Well, nice defense from Looney, able to totally upset the shot because of his positioning. Here's Lee outside. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got five rebounds tonight. Now, here's Kispert. 17 points in the game. Gill with a screen on Lee. Kispert with it. Now guarded by Porter. And Corey Kispert is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Warriors leading by 14. Peyton kicks to Porter. Dishes it to Thompson. Here's Looney. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists now tonight. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now. Just gift wrapping points. Now, here is Smith. Passes it to Kispert. Hands it from downtown. Kispert's got 11 points here in just the second half. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Thompson for the triple. Nailed from three-point land. And the Warriors lead by 16. Yeah, Thompson coming right back and Clay saying, yeah, I know I play deep, but I also hit threes. That's a nice response. Washington's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going four of five shooting.
And looking now at some numbers for Smith, how he performed last season. Averaged six points per game, four assists, and three rebounds. And you love how he facilitates their offense. Just a terrific decision maker. So many times it's with the extra pass, and man, he's delivering. Kispert setting the pick for Smith. He kicks to Abdiya. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Abdiya got five points in the quarter. Not the biggest fan of that shot, but he had the space to get it off. So, so why not? Warriors leading by 13. Pass to Porter. Thompson outside. Shoots over Abdiya. Another shot. Looney with the bucket. Looney's got his third basket of the night right there. Kind of a simple job for Looney out there, but he's willing to do it. Gets into the middle and fights for that board. Smith dishes to Abia. 143 left to play in the third. Gisbert, no good. The Warriors shooting has been great up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Peyton outside. Thompson, a screen on Smith. Thompson outside from past the arc. Bryant with the rebound. Bryant's got six rebounds in the game. Avia, the pass to Smith. 109 left in the third. Nice ball movement by Washington. Gill with a screen on Lee. Going inside. Hispert with the bucket. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Outside, Porter. Thompson way outside. That shot off the mark. And Washington the other way now. Kispert, the pass to Gill. Plays it up and banks it in. Gill's got four points this quarter. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Warriors leading by 11. Outside, Porter. Thompson up top. Over Avdia. The shot by Thompson, no good. The Wizards shooting at 50% in a decent group. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. They get it back. Bryant, and the lead is down inside, single digits. And they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half. Second chance points are starting to add up for them, and they can use every one of them. Peyton against Smith. Thompson left side. Lee outside. It's good from long range. Lee's got seven. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Right now is when we go, good shot, great shot, right? Right now is when we talk on every screen down here and switch and, and ice and all the stuff we do on point. That's Steve Kerr. This is what his teams do. They take away a lot of easy shots, easy baskets. Yeah, you, you heard it. Ice the screens. Communicate. Give me everything you've got defensively. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Looney. Then there's Peyton. Then there's Jordan Poole. And it's Green in at the center position. The pass to Caldwell Pope. 
Brzingis with the ball. And he uses the glass on the layup. Brzingis has got 26. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Pass to Looney. Kicks to Payton. Passes it to Poole. A three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Payton. Payton's got assist number eight here in this one already. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Four. do they add up. Wizards trail by 15. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Sadoransky. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Green against Hachimura. Green the pass to Looney. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Matt Looney is so long, gets up there and flushes it. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here on the fourth. And there's the drive. Chalk up two there. You know, all the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Now Poole. Here's Peyton. Buries it down low. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Wizards have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Here's Hachimura. Bangs home the trifecta. Hachimura's got nine points here in the second half. Just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Here's Wiggins. Washington with the rebound. Persingas has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Hachimura kicks to Sederansk. Back to Hachimura. The pass to Persingas. Porzingis is doubled. Four on the shot clock. Oh! Yeah. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Caldwell Pope against Peyton. There's Looney. Back to Wiggins. Off target from outside. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. And Poole gets it to go. Poole's got five points now this quarter. Now you love how eager Wiggins is to involve his teammates. That's a nice assist. Wizards trail by 14. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Porzingis can't hit. And yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Rui Hachimura picks one up. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Dominguez come in for Kevon Looney. Free throws, good from Poole. 
Wizards trail by 16. Sadaransky, the pass to Persingas. Nice ball movement by Washington. And stolen by Peyton. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The pass for a chance. Porzingis with the block. To the middle. And stolen by Wiggins. Here's Peyton. That falls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. And the Warriors lead by 18. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Now, here's Sadaransky, guarded by Poole. Here's Gill. Porzingis trying to get free, and that one's good. Gill. There's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Warriors leading by 16. Basket Poole fires from deep, buries it from three-point range. Poole's got 18 points just in the second half. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And Sadaransky kicks to call well Pope. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Here's Poole, and that basket's going to count, folks. Gets the goaltending call right there. Just barely too late and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. To the left side wing. Hachimura kicks to Sederinsk. Passes it to Persingas. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. That free throw good from Porzingis. Warriors leading by 15. Green with a screen for Payton. And here's Poole for three. Washington with the rebound. Porzingis has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Here's Gill. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And the instincts there from Hakimura. Notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Green, the pass to Peyton. Higgins outside. And here's Poole for three. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Now here's Sadaransky. Guarded by Poole. Caldwell Pope on the wing. No good on the three. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Peyton left side. And they double up Peyton. And the wide open shot from Green. No good with the triple. Wizards trail by 13. Caldwell Pope finds Sadaransky. to Persingas for the three and the rebound goes to the Warriors and there's the pass to Peyton trying to find Porzingis gets it to him pass to Sadaransky Porzingis with the ball covered by Peyton that one goes in Porzingis has got seven points here in this quarter and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score just great ball movement
And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Clay Thompson. Hey, guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He told them, look, we're in a good spot. The one thing I want you guys to do, stay in the moment. Don't look ahead. Stay in the moment and compete. Kevin, we'll see if they can keep focused. Thanks so much, David. Peyton against Caldwell Pope. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Wizards trail by 13. Sadoransky with it. Top of the key, Hachimura. And Zodoransky kicks to Hachimura. Washington gets a bet. Caldwell Pope and Thompson sends it back. Play showing some signs that time of that prime time defense he can bring. with possession and the dunk by Porzingis and here is Peyton and they double up Peyton on the wing Thompson some nice passing by Golden State and Kaminga throws it down and for a power forward he can sure get up I mean because of that leaping ability it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Sadoransky against Peyton and stolen by Peyton. On the wing, Thompson. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Pass to Sadoransky to the wing right side. Kispert, no good. Warriors leading by 16. Kaminga the pass to Green. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Driving inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. No question. He got bumped on that shot. Free throw good, Sadoransky. And 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Porzingis against Green. Porzingis with the block. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. On the inbound, blocked again, and he gets it back. Thompson passes to Payton. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fifth assist in this one. Pass to Hachimura. Caldwell Pope against Thompson. But Trey, Kispert, no good. And they recover it. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. And that'll be his third foul so far. Now, here's Kispert, covered by Wiggins. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Warriors leading by 17. Peyton dishes to Wiggins. Thompson outside. He feeds it to Green. Takes the three, and there's Thompson. That's good on the assist by Wiggins. Thompson's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Warriors. Now the pass to Caldwell Pope. Greg, playing most of your career in the 90s, the game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but what role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Warriors. A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. But you know what? It was a team that was in sync and, and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Clay Thompson. He was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. He dishes it to Thompson. Peyton against Caldwell Pope. There's Green with the three. Hachimura grabs the miss. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Washington. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And it's Kispert in the corner. The shot's good on the assist by Sadoransky. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Green kicks to Kaminga. Outside, Green. Back to Peyton. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.